Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really simple abstract layout using some Dina Wakely products. Um, this is one of my favourite pages I've done in a long time and it came together really, really quickly which I was surprised about but um, it was just so much fun to do. This is a page I had already some black on my page and I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. So I just did what I usually do and slap some paint down and where it had some black on it already I just drew into it with my pencil and just did some random mark making. It kind of looks like writing but it really wasn't. Um, it dried really quickly though so I didn't quite get this graffito effect that I was looking for but that was okay. So um, I'm going back in with some more pencil and while it's still wet scribbling into it again so you can sort of see that come up a little bit more. So I started off with Rouge in the background, which was one of the Dina Wakely New Paints. Um, then I had Carnation, I think, and then I've got some Blushing, which is this sort of more peachy pink colour. Um, not usually colours I use, I have to say. No, certainly not all pink like this. I do use my pinks occasionally, but um, not usually in this way. And I really, really liked it. So now I'm going in with sort of a really abstracty layout. Um, I just drew in a really simple scribbly circle and a cross on my page. And I used my Stabilo oil pencil for it, so I could do what I've just done, which is squitch, squitch it, squirt it with a um, water bottle. And you'll see that it's bled out slightly, which I really love the effect of. And then I sprayed, uh, I dripped on some of the rouge gloss spray and it accidentally dropped into a puddle where I had some water from the Stabilo oil pencil and I loved the effect so I um, then sprayed over the top with some more water and I discovered that and it's a technique I've been having so much fun with that the gloss sprays just give this most beautiful beautiful watercolor effect when you spray, spray them with water the great thing about it though, unlike watercolour, is it's permanent when it's dried. So you get this gorgeous flo flowy effect, but it's permanent when it's dried. So I was finding the middle had got lost a little bit. And so I had some of those corners and I decided I wanted to put a little bit more white in. So I just got my fingers out and um, put on some gesso. So I had sort of that really scrubby look in the middle. I did try and write, wipe some of my paint away, but I don't know what was happening this day, that everything was actually drying really, really quickly in my studio. It wasn't the middle of summer, so it was actually surprising me how quickly things were, were drying in my studio. I then got to this stage, it's like, I really like this background, but I don't know what I want to do next. And I came across this new set, which I think is called She Is Wise. Um, which I really, really liked, um, mostly because of these words. And um, they're just, they're not written straight. They're written sort of curvy around artwork. And I thought, oh, this would be interesting because I could sort of place the words around my circle, which is what I did. So I'm actually using some pink toned ink and I'm using archival ink to do this and sort of just moving the... Um, stamp around to give a little bit more definition to the um, circular shape on my page. Then I decided I would go in with these um, again the really loose leaf type um, effect and sort of do some over stamping so I was kind of I suppose aiming to make like a wreath. The light ink didn't really work all that well so I'm going in with a slightly darker one still wasn't fantastic so I think I went in for another one so this is a darker grey then it got a little bit too dark um, so it was just a little bit of trial and error of where I was going but you can sort of see that circular shape appearing I then decided I wanted to put in the face and have that appearing through as well and I decided to go with the grey for that as well um, I was going to try and re freehand it, but it didn't quite work, so I went back in with my block instead. So I chose to have the greys instead of a black, because I didn't want anything too overpowering on the page. Or, um, and if I had a really strong black, 
um, it would have really stood out but I did choose to go in with my stibular wall pencil and do a little bit of line drawing over the top so using that face as sort of a guide having the um, grey stamping in the background so it gives it a bit of a shadow and you've got a little bit of black over the top I also chose with the some of the words um, I think she is while wise and introspective um, and then I think it says she is fine I'll, I'll see in the close-up I'm trying to remember what it actually says I wanted some of those words in the background to come out a little bit darker but when I stamped it it was a little bit too dark so um, I chose to do some second um, ghost stamping so basically I inked up my stamp, did a stamp elsewhere and then with the leftover ink sort of um, stamped off in the background. Then I switched to a lighter ink, so this is a lighter grey colour, so you know you can see it very mildly in the background. Again in the close-ups in the, in the end you'll sort of see it a little bit more clearly. But it just gave a little bit of texture to the background. Finally I just um, in the face put in the catchalls in the eyes just to make them sort of come to life a little bit. And to pop the words out from the background, I'm just using a white pen and giving it a little bit of a drop shadow. So it just pushes it out from the background somewhat. Um, because the letters are quite fine, take your time with this. It um, was a little bit fiddly, but I think it was worth it in the end because it, it did help them sort of stick out from the background somewhat. And that was it. Really, really simple. So you can see all that secondary stamping in the background. Um, you can see she is wise and introspective she feels and how those leaves sort of frame the face. You can still see the stamp lines in the background but having that little bit of pencil drawing over the top helps push it out. So I hope you have a go at doing this. This would work really well in any monotone colours. So um, you know if you don't want pinks try in greens or blues. Um, any face stamp would work. It's more the layout and doing the background and then having fun with background to see what you can do with it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.